Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome to a FIFA 22 trading video. Today, we're going to be starting off with 750 coins, open up a bronze pack, sell in the contents, and then trading up to a prime icon moments item. Ultimate Champions have launched their open alpha. Build your squad to take part in game weeks and earn unique items. You can also join my personal league to compete against other members of the community. So check out my sponsor, Ultimate Champions, by clicking the link in the description. So of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Let's see if can it 500 ratings and do subscribe to the channel if you want you. In this episode, which is going to be different to the previous ones that we've done, um, we're actually going to be on the Xbox. So like I mentioned, the, the last couple we've done... Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi both being on the PlayStation. Um, there's a lot less live transfers on this console, but also less competition as well. So I think the success rate in sniping opportunities is higher, even if the opportunities that do appear is lower. So it's going to be interesting to see how we fare on this console. I know I say this in the intro of all the videos um, like along this series, but it's going to be very informational. There's not going to be massive sniping opportunities. Don't expect to see like min price inform stuff like that it's simply my road trading from a very low total of coins as you can see 750 which is the equivalent to a bronze pack and then how i turn that into some of the best cards on the game so ironically enough um bronze pack method is a legitimate way to make coins on fifa so we could actually end up getting more than 750 coins just by opening one pack and that's increasing our coins out without even trading but anyway, let's see what we are going to get from this. I guess as well, it could take a while to flip the cards um, that we do pack. We are looking for rare items, I guess. I'm not sure if Sudamericana is going to be good. Potentially might be for SBCs, but we'll go through this pack and compare the price of items to see what we're going to be working with. I can see already that there's no rare cards. That's not a great start. Let's see if this guy does sell, and it looks like he is going to be just 200 coins and potentially won't even sell so that's not great it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit tricky i reckon to flip some items in here and um, we could be starting off with a very low amount of coins right lads we've actually sold one of our items the copper libertadore card um out of all of them I, I was thinking he might be the one that's going to be the most desirable just whack them up at min price anyway we've got 400 coins normally i do like non-rare gold premier league items or something around this budget but today we're gonna we're gonna change it up i'm gonna try and snipe some consumables and flip them for profits right wing to right mid for 200 coins that has to be a trade i mean at the end of the day that's the cheapest that can be listed on the mock for it's min price snipe ready um additionally as well the coin total has gone up so obviously um one of the other players has sold now what does this item sell for what is it normally valued at? If we can get 500, that'd be solid. But I've got that at a really nice price. 750 maybe? Okay, we've actually started off this episode pretty well already. If I can flip that instantly for 850 coins. We've made some... We've actually made some good profit by doing some consumable sniping. Now, nah, this is done. This is actually silly. The previous one is already sold as well. Mate, it sold for 850 coins instantly. And we've just picked up another already at min price. Okay, we could actually be on something here. Um, with it being the Xbox as well, means that I've got a better chance of successfully sniping these cards. Boys, this could be like a little bit of a cheat code to get up to like 10,000 coins quick before we move on to other sniping filters. Right, lads, an absolute gem of a sniping filter. It's the first position modifier that i tried to trade with as well and it turned out to be honestly insane profit i got so many of them at 200 coins and we were able to flip them very easily for like 850 to 900 um additionally as well as you can see all of the players did sell and even though it was really easy to trade with consumables i think for the sake of content we're going to move over onto some different sniping filters involving players just to spice it up a bit and um hopefully make the content a little bit more entertaining Right lads, we're going to revisit a sniping filter that I have tried in the past whilst doing some trading from scratch content. Um, on this filter you can see a couple of different cards that are 84 rated. It's Bitter and Leroy Sane, roughly around like 3,800 coins. But then also 85 rated Nabri as well, that sells for like 8k. So wide variety of different cards and I'm hoping that it is going to be successful on the Xbox. 
guys again another snipe on this filter i mean these are cards coming in straight out packs right and getting listed for a generous amount under it just it's not as active as i was hoping it would be and some of the super cheap items that we have seen on this filter for example like sabitzer at 2k have insta sold so there is competition we're able to flip these nice knees 3800 but it's honestly not as active and as a result, not as successful as I was hoping. Right then, lads, we're going to try out the new sniping filter. Under these parameters, the cheapest card that will appear is 83 rated John Stones. He's around 3,000 coins. Um, additionally, though, you can see 84 rated Jack Grealish and 84 rated Phil Foden. So uh, a wide variety of different items that can appear and hopefully might be able to snipe some of the high rated cards and make good profits. But I'm just trying to get like more entertaining content, right? But it's just not working at the moment. Just not working. That is actually a really nice trade. That's actually... Okay, we moaned at him, boys. Literally crying about the fact that I'm not able to get good sniping opportunities right now. And along comes a Phil Foden for 2.5k. It's crazy, isn't it? Because number bonus 2, clearly somebody's just pack pulled this card and then listed it for 2.5k. Not even checking what his value is. Um, looking on Footbin, he's 4.8 thousand coins on the Xbox. We've actually got a really nice deal there. You all need to string together a couple of trades like this, and you can easily get yourself from like having a budget of let's say 7,000 coins up to 15k in only a couple of minutes. Jack Grealish, straight out of packs as well, two owners. Damn, that's a couple of good sniping opportunities that I've missed in a row there on fresh items that are 84 rated from this filter. Directly on the parameters that we've got set up as well, so would have been able to flip that for some decent profit. It's a shame that I've missed out on it, but at least um, it goes to show that there are multiple different items that you can see on this filter. Pretty good trade to be honest guys, 1.8k, not bad. Mechanics have been good. Not gonna lie, we've been able to get some really nice sniping opportunities on this filter. It's been a good one. I can't complain. You get cards for a decent amount on that, what they're actually valued at. And they're really easy to flip as well for profit. Anyway though, lads, we've got 15,000 coins now. Which I personally feel like is a big milestone in terms of opening up like other sniping filters that you can take advantage of. Um, the Man City English cards was a great way to help us get like 10k in 30 minutes or so. Really good sniping filter, some great opportunities as well. As you can see, all the cards here did sell. What I'm probably going to do is... And I know that a trusted method right is doing the special card sniping filter with cards that have got a Shadow Chem style on them. But instead, I think I'm going to stick to some other gold rare filters for now. And maybe try and snipe Portuguese cards from Man City. Right then, lads, we have been able to get our first trade sniping these Portuguese cards. Unfortunately, I had to move over to the squad menu method because it's just the best way of successfully getting opportunities on a competitive sniping filter. 13.5k, it's just the parameters that I've got set up. But at the moment, there is a new SBC, so these cards have gone up in value a little bit. Can probably get closer to like 16,000 coins this item right now. And to be fair, not a bad trade. Right then lads, got myself into the groove a little bit now, doing the squad menu method. It's definitely the best way to take advantage of this sniping filter. Got a Jal Cancelo this time round for 13,000 coins. These cards are coming straight out of packs and are able to take advantage of these opportunities. Be able to flip that for some decent coins. Again, uh, he's a little bit more desirable than Bernardo Silva, so get about 500 coins extra. But a pretty good trade at only 13k. Right then lads, a new sniping filter to kick things off today. Don't know if it's going to work well because I've actually never done this one before. But basically, the main thing that you need set up is the min by now to 10 to 50. As a result of having that in the parameters, you're only going to see like high rated cards and special items. The two golds that are 86 overall are Jared Moreno and Parejo. Both around like 17,000 coins. Additionally as well though, you can see like informs, man of the match cards and they will be good snipes. Going to try and get them for around 14,000 coins. Not bad, eh, boys? Our first sniping opportunity on this filter, 14.250 for Pareho. We do manage to go ahead and successfully snipe the card. Be able to flip this for around 17,000 coins. As you can see, number of owners too. They are being listed on the market as fresh items for a decent amount on their value, which is what we're going to try and take advantage of 
by using this filter. We'll be able to flip that for some decent profits. Not bad, guys. Again, it is a different item, right? So it shows that there is variation on this filter. Unfortunately, we went and checked the value of these gold cards, right? Moreno is a little bit cheaper than Parejo, so it's probably going to be tougher to flip this card at like 16.5k. If I want to go for an instant turnaround, I guess I'd probably just do 16,000 coins, which is not going to be much profit after tax. But considering it doesn't seem competitive and we're seeing a decent amount of cards, it's still going to be like a good amount to add to our coin total if we're doing this over like the space of one hour. So, hey, we can't complain about successful trades and profits. Right, guys, this sniping filter, I know it's repetitive. I've done it in the previous two, like from scratch episodes. But the reason I keep coming back to it is because it is so good. Uh, I guess differently this time around, I'm going to be doing it on the Xbox. It is, of course, going to be the um, special shadow sniping filter. Set them in by now to 10 to 50 to avoid like Libertadora and Sudamericana cards. Um, and other than that, change the quality to special, use the right stick. You have to do the compare price method and just evaluate what is going to be a good trade. Hopefully, we can get some nice opportunities and make some decent coins. Have to pick up Sven Botman at 11.5k. I mean, that's super cheap for an 85 rated uh, special card. Lads, the cheapest ones are around like 14,000. So, I mean, I guess if you see anything, sub 12k, it's just an instant pickup, isn't it? Pretty nice trade there to be fair lads and we'll be able to flip it for some decent coins. EA tax is really not going to impact our resale value neither. I don't think there's any good card to invest in right now though. I actually don't think there is. Lads, what do you reckon? Do you think it could be worth decent coins? I, I, I guess investing in this card at 14250 could be good. It's not really an investment though is it? It's, it's a snipe. Let's have a look what he's going to be worth. Apparently 17,000 coins according to Footbin. And then obviously the Shadow Chem style could impact what I'm able to flip him for. So if we can get like 18,500, that's going to be a really nice trade doing the compare price method. Right then guys, we have got 50,000 coins. I believe this is about halfway to uh, the total I need to, to get an icon. I'm probably just going to do foot captains from the Premier League for like the next 50,000 coins. Try and make like 5k per trade and then uh, you never know, could even get some big sniping opportunities as well. But we'll give this a go, see how it works and then potentially um, the next time we're going to be trading could be for the Prime Icon Moments card. That would have been a big snipe guys. This is the thing right, you're going to see cards from Team 1 as well. Um, it's any Premier League foot cap item. I, th I think he's like 60,000 coins right now, so this is exactly the type of trade that I was looking for to, to help us on our road to the Prime Icon Moments card. That's rough, mate. Shadow Chem style as well would have been a very nice snipe. Right then, boys, we have picked up our first successful foot captain snipe. As you can see, a Seamus Coleman for 42,750. Really good trade, more than 10,000 coins under, so we'll definitely be able to flip that for good profit. I'll show you guys now the price of this item. He's around 55,000 coins. Couple of them on the market around that value. So actually made some decent profit from this foot captain snipe. Right then guys, we have got almost 110,000 coins now on the account. We've obviously come here from only having 750 coins and been able to trade from a bronze pack. Basically for the last like 50 to 65k that I've got, um, on this account, it's been doing the foot captain items. The two filters that I explored was Premier League cards, and then also um, we've done defenders as well. And you can see a wide variety of different cards on these filters that sell for different prices. And of course, they do fluctuate as well in value over time. Anyway, need to jump on the market and try and snipe a prime icon mode item within our budget. Guys, we have got ourselves a prime icon moment trade. It is none other than Inzaghi. Obviously, the cheapest prime icon moment card that we are probably going to see get list on the market. So, realistically, this was the item that we were always going to snipe. Um, having the filter set up like 110k. Nonetheless, though, boys, this is my journey of how I turned 750 coins, which is the equivalent to a bronze pack, into one of like the best quality tier cards on Ultimate Team. 
Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like. Let's say if you've got 500 ratings and do subscribe to the channel if you want you. If there's any other cards that you want me to trade to from scratch, let me know about it in the comment section down below. I'm thinking during team of the season, you know, we actually trade to some of those items. That'll be really good content. Anyway, though, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, if you want you as well, make sure to subscribe for future videos. But other than that, hopefully I will see you guys next time.